one of the things that you would see in Detroit um, that it's, it's really kind of polarizing to many Detroiters is that oftentimes the, 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 the decisions um, at the end of the day in a city that's 80% black um, are often still made by white men, right? Um, who um, some of them have done, I think what I've heard some of you um, kind of admit to and say, hey, I'm here to learn. Some of them haven't. One thing I wanted to say was, you have to do whatever you can do within your own self, within your circle of friends as well, to make the changes. Because with, within that, to me, if you take and you educate five people, and you think that they're gonna educate five more, you are making change. This thing, of, this thing is generational. This is not something that we're fighting that is 10 years ago. This is 200, 300, this is thousands of years. So this is a human thing that is bad situation, not just black and white, but male to female as well. Up here, there's issues of lack of exposure to different people to persons of color, to persons of uh, different ethnic um, origins. And I think that's a huge barrier. So opportunities to sit down with people who think differently, who look different, uh, is the opportunity to build bridges. To me, in my experience, it all flows from relationships.